So do you ever feel like God sometimes tells you he wants you to do one thing when you want to do something else? Or maybe there's something you want to do and he doesn't want you to do it. And you think, oh Lord, I really don't want to do that. Or God, you know I want to do it like that. What do you do? That's the question. Here's the answer. It's found in one powerful word we read about in the New Testament. And this is a scripture in Luke chapter number five, where it talks about Jesus coming up on some men that was out in the boat. They had been fishing all night and had caught anything. And here's what Jesus told them. One of those men was Simon Peter. And Jesus said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your net, excuse me, for a drought or a catch. So he said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets. Now notice what Peter said here. Simon said, answered and said unto him, master, master. Notice that first word, master. So he knew Jesus was in charge. Okay. But notice what he said, master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. He said, we have fished all night long, Lord. We've caught nothing all night. I'm tired. It really is no use doing this. But the one powerful word, he said, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Nevertheless, at thy word. So basically, he said, Lord, there's no sense in doing this. We fished all night. We haven't caught anything. But nevertheless, at your word, I will do it. And then the Bible said, when they had done this, in verse 6, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. They could not even handle all the fish they caught. All the reason, it was all because he obeyed what the Lord said. He didn't really um, see the need. He didn't really think it was going to do any good. He said, Lord, we've been fishing all night long and not done a thing. But he said, nevertheless, at your word. Sometimes today you just have to say, Lord, if that's what you want me to do, Lord, if that's what you want me to say, Lord, if that's the way you want us to handle this situation, then Lord, I might not understand it. I might not think it's going to do any good. But nevertheless, Lord, at your word, I will do it. Or maybe he doesn't want you to do something. And you might say, well, Lord, I want to do it. But nevertheless, Lord, at your word, I will do it. When Peter did what Jesus said. The Bible said even though they had fished all night long, the Bible said that their nets broke because they could not hold all the fish. I'm not going to go through it all because I did it in another video, but I know I've got a lot of new subscribers since then. So I want to share with you really quick uh, something that happened to me many, many years ago, back before our daughter was born. It was just me and my wife. We had a, a two cities that, that we was really in the middle of, and I'm going to say it right here and right here. And we always like to go to this city more, okay, because of different reasons. We like to get, we just enjoyed this city just a little bit more. We would usually, a lot of times on the weekend, we would go here or we would go here. Well, uh, it came to, uh, there was a time when we was going, and we was going here to the one we liked. And we got, uh, it was about an hour's drive away, and I got just about, 10 minutes down the road, and I just felt like the Lord was telling me, don't do it. I felt like the Lord was impressing on me, don't do it. It was like I did not feel right about it. I did not feel at ease about it in my spirit. As we would meet a car on the road, I just felt like my car was just almost being pulled into the center lane. I mean, it was just the weirdest feeling. And I told my wife what, what I was feeling, and I said, I don't feel like we should go. And she said, well, don't said, let's turn around if you don't feel right about it. So we turned around our favorite spot to go, and we went to this spot. She asked me going up the road, how do you feel now? I said, I feel fine going up here. So we went to the other city for, for that night for what we was going to do instead of going the place we wanted to go. Now, the next day, I was talking to my mother on the phone, and my mother said, did you all hear about the wreck last night? And I said, no. And I said, where was it? It was on the road to this city, and it was on the very road we was traveling. And I told my wife, I said, you know, I mean, it made me almost, 
I, I really felt like that was God showing me that night. I'm going to see if you're going to listen. I'm going to see if you're going to do, do me at my word. And basically what it was going, what it was like is it was like I was driving down the road and I said, Lord, you know we want to go there. Well, you know we enjoy that place more. You know we enjoy their food more. But nevertheless, at your word, I'm going to stop and we'll go the other direction. We did. And there was a wreck. And the person that was in the wreck or the people, there was deaths involved. And obviously, I, um, it was bad for anybody to be in a wreck, but I am thankful that God kept his hand upon us, and I'm thankful that I listened to the voice of God. I'm telling you today, if God is telling you to do something, then sometimes you just got to say, nevertheless, Lord, I'd rather do this, I'd rather do that, I'd rather, I'd rather go here, I'd rather go there. But nevertheless, if that's what you want me to do, if that's where you want me to go, Lord, I'll do it. So nevertheless, what a powerful word that Peter gave us in Luke chapter 5 and verse number 5. Nevertheless, he wanted to do one thing, but he thought, no, at your word, I'll do it, Lord. So sometimes today, if you're tossed to and fro and wondering, Lord, I don't really know, but just go with what the Lord says. Do what the Lord says. Go with the idea God gives you. Go with the direction he'll put upon your heart and you won't go wrong. I hope this word helps you. God bless you. God loves you. And we'll catch you on the next video.